Right. So I'm back. Um, yeah, I, I'm deep into um, doing a project uh, as a way to reacquaint myself with Unreal 4. Well, last time I used Unreal, it was Unreal 3. So there's a lot to learn. So I haven't been making as many videos as I'd like. Um, but I needed to make this water. And uh, people seem to like water. And this is kind of different from the last one I made, which this is going to be more for, um, uh, there's going to be a lot of water features. And so it's, it's kind of like, it's not outdoor water. It's going to have like waterfalls and fountains and things like that, sort of plunging around it using, you know, other meshes and other animations. And I kind of wanted to create this base that instead of just having flat, you know, instead of having like waterfalls fall into just flat water, I kind of wanted this dancing water thing going on. And once I made it, I thought, you know what? I think people might actually want to do this. So without further ado, let's get into substance. And this is it in its entirety. It's pretty straightforward. It, you, there's a very, it's, it, I tried to make it lean. Uh, so there's just this one layer that's dealing with the water because again, there's going to be other things happening it, you know, on top. So there'll be like waterfall meshes and stuff like that. Um, so I'm keeping it simple and most of the action is happening up here, which is, um, the foam. So the first, I, this is probably going to be more than one or two videos, but we'll start with this base right here, which is none of, none of this is anything we haven't done before. So first thing we're going to do is we make a new substance. Let's call it dancing water. And okay. So because let, let's do some housekeeping first here. So the first thing I'm going to do just because I like it like this is I'm going to put my height next to my normal. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to create a new output node for our opacity because we're making water. So we need to have an opacity channel and opacity. And then we assign opacity to the channel. Okay. So the first thing, Hold on, let me uh, get my notes here. Okay, first thing we're gonna need is a shape. And I used the Gaussian dot they have here. And we're gonna, you know, we're, we're, we're making waves. So what I'm also, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna stretch it out some. So I think I had the Y at like 1.4. 1.42 again this none of this is hard and fast and then you know, squeeze them in a little bit here uh, the one thing you do need to remember is the fact that you want to have this um, not tile for you I'm not, I think I've shown in another video, if you, where are we? Here we go. Tiling mode. Right now it's tiling relative to parent, which is currently horizontal and vertical tiling. If you set anything to absolute, you now pull it out of the, the parent chain and you can do separate things to it, but it's not going to change. So, so another, you don't really want to do this too often because it's like things won't change size when they're supposed to and stuff like that. So. But in this particular case, because we're using this shape uh, in a splatter, uh, I'm going to just do no tiling. Now we are going to warp this against, okay, because right now we've got sort of a really straight up and down oval, okay. And I, I want it a bit more crested, so I'm going to get, um, I think it's crystal. What is this? Creased. This is the one. 
so creased and we're going to make it a little bit bolder so let's ramp this up a little bit too so we get rid of the edges there and we're going to try to get this to look a little bit more wave-like it seems kind of hard to me I think we're going to soften that up just a little bit So it just just so it doesn't look like a big round dot. Um, and now we're going to bring in the splatter mode. So essentially what we've done here, I mean, we've done this before a lot where we just take the shape and just plug it straight in. But, you know, you can do other things before you get to your splatter node. Um, okay, so once we're in here, oh, I didn't write down how I had it set up. Well, we already know what we're doing here we are going to disorder this a lot so let's bring down this grid number for now I forget I didn't write it down I'm gonna to have to go and take a look we're gonna put some size we're not gonna go crazy with the size variation because these are waves you see right here you can see you can see how that's tiling right right there So I'm going to put, just in case, warps, by the way. I mean, this shouldn't do because we kept, a warp is going to potentially, that actually looks like it's tiling properly. I'm going to leave it alone. Um, a warp, if you've got something that goes up to the edges, if you put a warp on it, it, things may not tile properly because what it's doing is it's pulling stuff away from the edges and it's changing that so whenever it doesn't I mean like like right now it's not going to be a problem because none of this comes up to the edges but just be aware sometimes you you'll warp something and you're like why isn't my material coming out right I can't figure it out look at your warp uh, let me let me take a look at my notes and see how I had this splatter set up. Hold on. Okay, I had the grid set at three. So I wanted to check. The grid set at three. And then the disorder I had up to a hundred. And then the disorder angle we kind of put in the middle. And clearly those guys are too small. So let's kind of try and trying to get this to look a little bit like waves. Um, let's widen this out. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kind of even it out a little bit here. Um, let's widen it out. It's probably better. Maybe make them a little bit bigger. If I ever make a material that looks the same I will, as the one that I made like to test it I will probably faint from shock because they never come out right I'm kind of I didn't have these stripes I don't know how this is gonna come out but I think it might be more interesting than the one I already have so I'm gonna leave those in because in my original this is much smoother um, but the settings are the same so I'm, I who knows okay where are we um, right, so we're going to actually set um, an animation on this. And we're going to just pan one of the directions. Because again, remember, every time you make it do something, um, it, it, you know, it has to, it has to, it has to do that function every single time. So, for right now, I'm just going to put time on here. I think I had it at a bit more than that. Um, but instead of panning it in both directions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down this transform warp. And I'm going to uh, turn it 90 degrees.
and then we can uh, blend it. And we're going to use a light and blend. Um, and then we're going to pull down a blur because that most definitely doesn't look like waves. And let's bring that intensity up a bit. All right. So this is the basic thing that I had for the water. I don't know why this is having trouble with that, but we'll see. Okay. So let, let's, let's hook her up. I'm going to need a normal. And let's not forget to set fill alpha with input. Let's bring this up to, I don't know, it's not going to be one. Let's, let's bring it up to 10 for now. It might be too much. But it'll give us an idea of what's going on. Okay, let's get a color node down here for our metal. And make sure that's grayscale. Um, roughness for now, I'm just going to put that in there because uh, I, I can't really deal with that right now and it's going to be pretty close to this anyway. Uh, let's use this for our height. Uh, it's our color over there. We'll take care of that in a minute. Let's get our another levels in here. We don't want it all exactly the same opacity, but we don't want it that different either. So I'm just going to come in here. Again, this stuff is might even just be temporary. I just, I want to have a, oops. I'm going to bring this up like this and then maybe make it a little bit less opaque. But I, I want it almost exactly the same, but not quite. And now our base color, we're going to get a gradient. And again, we'll be adding to this later, um, but for now, I'm not even going to go pick a water. I'm just going to make this by hand. You go in here, you go into the gradient editor. If you click on this gradient bar, well, you'll add that, which we don't need. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. If you, once you actually click on these guys, you can, you can assign colors. So, I mean, if you want to, you can go and pick up a nice water gradient, but with with water like this, you you don't really want more than two points. You want you you want the smoothest flow that you can because remember you you start putting points up in here, you're gonna start getting like rings. Which is cool, it's just not what you want right now. Uh, I'm not sure that's gonna work as a color overall, but it'll work for now. So there we go. Um let's save our package. Um, let's see, where am I saving it? Perfect. We're going to call it Dancing Water. So I'm saving it to my substance library, which means that I can go ahead and use, pull it out from here now too. So it's now going to appear in my materials, or I mean, this is how I set it up. How you set it up is up to you. Um, but I put in a bunch of filters in here and I have liquids and dancing water is now appearing in my library. So let's go ahead and publish this out in the assets. Okay. So let's see why that's taking 16 milliseconds is beyond me. Let's turn this off. And let's get, I'm on my other screen here. Let's get dancing water. We'll put it on here. And let's 
set up our material. So I'm going to go ahead and, since we're using height, I'm going to use a tessellated shader. I use Uber. You can use whatever you want to use. I'm going to set up my height. Uh, and again, you know, this is what I'm doing. Obviously, if you're using a different shader, you can do different stuff. Making waves probably Fonk. Well, you know, actually, I didn't have fonks moving in the other one, so let's leave that alone. And we'll up the tessellation. And last but not least, we are going to make this a fade. All right. So let's see if this works. It's not working. Oh, you know why? Because this is something that I do all the time. I always, I bet you this is the reason. I had some kind of block about this. Animation update rate. It helps if it's not zero. There we go. It's really slow, but it's moving. Um, so we are gonna we're gonna have to take care of that. But but the the general idea is here. You're starting to get that wave pattern. We, you know, we've done this before. You 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 get them to wiggle around and voila. Um, I think I'm gonna take a break. This is kind of short, but um we can do it section by section. So this little bit's done here. We're going to draw a um, square around it. Let's make a frame and we'll call it water base. And then I'm going to stop the video here and we'll pick it up on the next one where we're going to start working on that foam stuff.